So last year, right about this time, somewhere towards the beginning of March, I came out to the Nancy Ward gravesite and made a vlog. Um, and I'll probably link it below here. Uh, I found out that the Sons of the American Revolution were doing a, uh, a ceremony and uh, some kind of a dedication up here at her gravesite. And today is the day. So we are here and this place is packed. I had to park all the way down by the boat dock, um, which is a little bit far away. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, just to uh, be able to come, and the park rangers are here. We've got some of her descendants. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to be going on, but this is going to be like awesome. So, of course, I had to vlog it. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, so, here we go. We're going to walk up to the gravesite. And uh, don't worry, I won't make you hear me go <laughs> as we walk up there like I did last time, but we'll be all right. So here we go. Nancy Ward. Woo. I just felt like I had to be here. I mean, come on, who who, who gets to go to a, de a grave dedication like this all the time? Really? <laughs> Sons of the American Revolution? That's awesome, right? So here we go. I'm a little excited. Here we go. This is the new memorial dedication that wasn't here uh, when we were here last year. Association of the Descendants of Nancy Ward. Dedicated March 24th, 2018. This is awesome. How gorgeous is that? Look at that. It's actually at the bottom. It's actually at the bottom of the hill. This is so amazing. Something else that's new. Wow. Look at that. Our cry is all for peace, Nancy Ward. Wow. That's gorgeous. So way up there on top of Nancy's Hill, we've got a gathering of people. And I could have just walked straight up the hill, but I decided I wanted to walk around. And it's a good thing I did because they've got so much new stuff. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Definitely different from the last time we were here, y'all. <laughs> Definitely different. Wow, how beautiful. Oh, it's another bench. Yep, this was not here last time. <laughs> oh. Oh, how beautiful. Oh. Beloved mother, we love you until we meet again. Your grandchildren. Wow. Remember when we were here last year, this was all dirt. I commented on it. <laughs> well, now there's stone here. But that was really the reason why I wanted to be here. Wow, here's another one. Wow. That's amazing. Can't exactly go around the other way yet. I didn't bring anything to honor her. What I brought for her last year is not here anymore. But that's okay. So beautiful. I don't know if I can get around the front. I don't think so. pretty amazing. There's a lot of people here from the Daughters of the American Revolution and the Sons of the American Revolution and the Tennessee Trail of Tears Association. So much. This is beautiful. Actually, 
amazing. Wow. This is awesome. Look how beautiful. So cool. Here we go. I didn't lie. <laughs> this is amazing. Let's find a spot to crash over. Yeah, get done on film for my brother. Descendants. Thank you very much. This down there, that's the color guard from the Sons of the American Revolution. Let us begin with the posting of the colors. Right shoulder, arms. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Approach the color. Right face. Order, march. I wrote this song in honor of Nanya Yee, Nancy Ward, back in 1993. And little did I know back then that I'd be co-writing a full-blown musical. So this is for our beloved ancestor. I was born in a field of corn, in the land of the Cherokee. I did my choice, but I knew there was more than my eyes could see. My very young, he was brave and strong, but he died. To 
his place, but I vowed somehow that we would live in peace. Let there be peace, let there be love, let life fly free as the morning dove. Let every heart hear this song I sing. Let there let there be peace. The war stretched on to the warrior sun, but a change drifted through the wind. The white man's heart beats the sailor's arms. When will we understand? Our children die. Association of the Descendants of Nancy Ward, Oklahoma. David. Thank you. On behalf of the Association of Descendants of Nancy Ward, we want to thank all of you for coming. We want to especially thank uh, Pauline and all of the uh, uh, Cherokee District chapters of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Of the American Revolution have been so instrumental in helping to restore the grave. And can you hear me now? Yeah, we want to thank you who helped to restore the grave. And uh, I want to thank uh, Deborah Yates and Becky Hobbs for all the work they've done coordinating on behalf of the association. We brought a bus trip of some descendants and others from Oklahoma. Everyone who's a, came on the bus trip or has is a descendant of Nancy Ward, raise your hand. We have 21 on the bus from Oklahoma. We're going to be able to put on the back of the bus. We have one. So thank you again so much for all that you've done here. Honor. Honor. Terry from Deborah Yeck, seventh great granddaughter of Nancy Ward. Deborah. 
There will be a musket salute by Colonel Benjamin Cleveland Chapter, SAR. Musket salute. <laughs>
hard to rain, so I got my rain hat on, go socks. <laughs> anyway, um, there were a lot of people up here today. It was so beautiful, and I managed to film most of the ceremony. And it came to the closing where they had the musket ceremony. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta make sure to get this because my brother will freak. And I'm standing over there filming it, all because I had to switch cameras because my battery died in my main camera that I use. And all of a sudden, my my video shuts off, my phone shuts off, reboots itself, and didn't save the muskets. <laughs> I was so disappointed, but it was amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, unless I can figure out a way to save it, I don't know. Uh, it just it's a blank doc. It's a blank file. It figures. <laughs> Anyway, peace and love. Hope you enjoy. Bye. So we're back in the car. I know, I was like, that was a really quick sign off up there. No, no, no. So we're back in the car and that was amazing. I don't know how many people I met. I don't know how many descendants of Nancy Ward I met, but the ceremony itself was absolutely gorgeous. I don't think that actually capturing it on video uh, really can describe how gorgeous it was. Um, anyway, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. I was really looking forward to it, and I'm so glad I came. Um, just an amazing, amazing morning. And, uh, <sighs> awesome. I have to run into Chattanooga later today, but for right now going home since my house is literally a mile away from here so <laughs> going home hanging out with the jakey jake so uh i hope you loved it i hope you enjoyed it and you know this is just a perfect example of one of the reasons why i love vlogging history and historical things is because it's, it's always wonderful to remember our ancestors and there were so many people here. People from North Carolina, people from Oklahoma, people local, people from, uh, I think somebody said they were from Virginia. You know, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing that all these people came here to honor this beautiful, wonderful, beloved woman of the Cherokees. So, and now there's just more beautiful awesomeness up here. And there's going to be more, so you know we're going to have to do another vlog when they add more stuff. Anyway, so peace and love from the Nancy Ward Boat Dock in beautiful Benton, Tennessee. Well, actually, we're outside. We're in between Benton and Okoy, Tennessee. So, um, but I'm going to house. <laughs> See you later. Bye.